Okay, this is fascinating once again because the Nintendo Switch refuses to stop doing this and we're seeing it pretty much across the world. The system and Nintendo just don't want it to stop because it continues to actually do decently to really well in most parts of the world despite going on its eighth year on the market so we're going to talk about a number of things that's happening some big sales from japan we've got some new big rpgs that have returned to the nintendo switch and one that's coming that probably should have been here a while ago but we're going to talk about all of that but before we get into it what's good everyone oj here welcome back to another video please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you are someone new and click that notification bell to get my videos first and let's go ahead and jump right into this thing that nintendo just like it won't stop right we're looking at the Famitsu sales for April 8th, 2024 through April 14th, 2024 in Japan. And somehow, some way, I've never seen this happen before. This is kind of like an impossible feat that we're seeing with Nintendo is that somehow the Switch has sold another 71,213 units in Japan for the past week all nintendo switch units that makes it the top selling system by at least a minimum of fifty thousand units plus to second place which is the playstation 5 and if you look at the software once again pretty much the top 10 is all nintendo switch software but with only one game at number six with rise of the ronin from kobe tecmo and sony i want to pick that game up at some point but yeah all the top 10 pretty much all nintendo switch games so i'm going to be going over a couple of things that i've seen people say on different threads via x slash twitter my boy stealth talks about it i also my man paul gale talks about it in my comment section as well and also some stuff on gamatsu and different sources that track some of this kind of like what's happening and why won't this system just lay down at this point so we're going to talk about that right now if you look at it the top 10 software it's a lot of Nintendo's games that have been around for quite some time, right? If you look at the top 10 software, you look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you look at Super Mario Bros. Wonder, you look at Nintendo Switch Sports, Minecraft, Splatoon 3, Animal Crossing. So you've got a number of games that are at least minimum of five to six months to years old at this point. Now, there was a new visual novel that made it to number one, but right now it's a little bit of a low time period for software sales. But the biggest thing, I think that's a problem when it comes down to it with the Japanese systems and everything that's going on you look at like a dragon infinite wealth you look at grand blue fantasy relink you see persona 3 reload final fantasy 7 rebirth all of these games are essentially de facto playstation exclusives in japan and all of them are out of the top 10 being beat out by games that are years old on the nintendo switch so that shift is something that we didn't see last generation with nintendo we didn't see the generation before even if you have a system like the nintendo ds or the 3ds that pretty much dominated in terms of top sellers for their eras you didn't see the software sales be this slided towards one system you would see a good mix of playstation 3 playstation 4 ps vita depending on what era we're talking about here but that's pretty much all changed pretty much all over to the nintendo side of things so it's interesting to see overall and i think if you combine that with the other things that we're seeing around the world that people are still picking up nintendo switch people are still excited for the software people are still looking forward to what's going on and i think that's the reason why nintendo's just like okay we can really take our time to make sure that the nintendo switch 2 is going to be exactly what it needs to be now nintendo obviously has a time period that they want to launch that system but you can never be too ready for the next system coming up so if your current system does afford you more time to tie up the loose ends you don't want another situation where you're unprepared to launch like the nintendo 3ds like the wii u like many of the systems that nintendo has had and to a smaller degree the nintendo switch with some of the stuff that just wasn't ready the online wasn't ready obviously you didn't have the most amount of software but they had a good rollout for it so i think that's exactly what's happening here and why this thing just doesn't want to go away and even if you look at like the upcoming games right obviously nintendo doesn't have anything super major we got princess peach showtime that's still in the top 10 here it's actually number three in the japanese sales in the amazon sales it's still the best selling new release on amazon as well and in many different regions too so princess peach showtime is a game that can still sustain sales a bit as the evergreen games also kind of tack in so that's why for people that are wondering what's going on here why are people still buying this system this has never really happened you don't see systems ever sell seventy thousand units plus in any major region when it comes to at least with the population that japan has right any major region you don't really see it where it sells that well this late into the life but it's because 
because of those classic system sellers and it's because there's still some good solid software coming out plus it's a system that you can also give to a child or give to a teen it's not too expensive overall they can play anywhere that they want it's one of those things that's like a cell phone right at this point to where yeah it kind of fits all the different scenarios that you need it to be into whether you want to play on the tv you want to use it at home on the go whatever the case is so that's the reason why it's continuing to do well and that's why nintendo is really taking their time to make sure that everything is going to be set and solved with the next nintendo system we did hear about some of the delays as well when it comes down to them and what they want to do some of the stuff that happened at a gamescom and all of that nintendo skipping gamescom this year so it's very interesting to see but yeah nintendo they're not letting this thing die at this point and i'll say this too if you're looking at it there was some reports that i saw that paper mario the thousand year door is tracking incredibly well pre-orders and sellouts wise on amazon now we don't know what stock they have but apparently i've gotten some reports from some of my users out there that they've got their pre-orders canceled and there was some other reports too from websites that some pre-orders were canceled because so many people were pre-ordering the game and they don't exactly know how much physical stock nintendo's shipping out now if you're nintendo obviously you don't exactly know how well this is going to do you can kind of base it off of super mario rpg but you don't know exactly how well it's going to do so there has to be some logistics adjustments here i think everybody that wants one when it comes to a physical game will get one eventually right or at some point you'll get yours or they'll have restocks or anything like that but it's a very good sign to see that even at this point people are still interested if there's a high quality game coming out you don't gotta worry that sales are going to be diminished because people are just looking forward to the next thing people are going to buy that game on the system they're gonna buy it. and it looks like paper mario the thousand year door could be the biggest release for the nintendo switch at least this year sales wise which shouldn't be too hard to do because right now the only next biggest game it was like princess peach showtime which is doing good it's doing solid although nintendo has not revealed the sales numbers yet but we should get some numbers here within the next number of weeks so yeah very good overall can't wait to see what paper mario the thousand year door does i'll be having some more content and videos and things on that because there's some more information that's coming out with that game and previews should be going up as well so look out for that if i haven't already made a video on it it'll definitely be up in the future and of course i'll be playing the game reviewing it all of that because paper mario the thousand year door is awesome and the nintendo switch shows that the concept is so valuable of the hybrid game device and that's why so many people are copying them with the steam deck and you see all these different lenovo's and the msi claw all this other stuff that's just been copying in terms of following in the footsteps more like it, in terms of what nintendo switch started back in 2017 so what do you guys think about this when it comes to nintendo just not letting this die at this point let me know in the comment section but speaking of not letting things die bandai namco is like you know what we got one more in us when it comes to nintendo switch maybe they even have more one piece odyssey deluxe edition yes this game that everyone said wait a minute where was the nintendo switch version because this felt like a game that should have absolutely been on the nintendo switch considering how popular one piece is considering how well the one piece games did on the nintendo switch this is something that probably should have been prioritized for the nintendo switch but it was not bandai namco was a little late but they eventually got it onto the Nintendo Switch here. And it's coming on July 25th in Japan, July 26th worldwide. And it includes some nice little extras for people who had to wait as well. So publisher Bandai Namco and developer ILCA will release One Piece Odyssey Deluxe Edition for the Nintendo Switch worldwide pretty much everywhere july 26th now one piece odyssey first launched for the ps5 xbox series ps4 and pc via steam on january 12 2023 in japan and january 13 2023 worldwide here's a little bit of an overview of the switch version of the game via bandai namco now in one piece odyssey players take control of each member of the straw hat crew in exploration or turn-based command battles as they cross paths with an incredible storm leaving them astray on a strange mysterious island Island of Wafford. While the Thousand Sunny is almost sunk and left in tatters, while exploring the island, its ancient ruins, they meet Audio and Lim, two inhabitants of Wafford. After being deprived of their strength by a mysterious power of Lim, a new daring adventure begins for the crew with new characters and monsters designed by Oda-san, as well as the original storyline intertwined with memories of their past adventures. 
the Nintendo Switch version of One Piece Odyssey includes the Reunion of Memories additional scenario that can be played after clearing the main game, as well as extra outfits for the Straw Hat crew with the Traveling Outfits and the Sniper King's Traveling Outfit. In addition, the City of Water outfits will be making their debut on the Nintendo Switch version. So you do got some nice little extras added in on there. And from what they've shown in the trailer, it looks to be a very good port. Now, in ILCA, they also did Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So they have experience with the Nintendo Switch version. And Bandai Namco also has a lot of experience with Nintendo Switch ports with ranging level of quality. But I would say that Bandai Namco is probably one of the better developers when it comes to third party games on the nintendo switch so i think that yes this one was late but i feel it's going to be a good turn-based battle system for people to play out i did check it out on the xbox i played the demo but i wasn't going to play that type of long rpg on the xbox if i'm going to play that it's going to be on a portable system to where i can just play the battles and do other things so i think i'll check it out on the nintendo switch for sure at some point we'll see if there's going to be a demo it's coming out in july there was a demo on xbox and playstation so hopefully they have a demo here on switch for people to play so good stuff what do you guys think about one piece odyssey deluxe edition it is a solid game from what i played on the demo on the xbox version but we'll see how everything works out on the nintendo switch in terms of how it runs how it looks all of that but we do have one more story here to talk about and that is the mysterious disappearance of octopath traveler that is now mysteriously back up but square enix actually let us know that it was back up so they had this to say on twitter Octopath Traveler is now available to purchase on Nintendo Switch eShop once again. Thank you for your patience. So they never initially said why it went down, but we can kind of figure out a couple different things why it went down. There was some publishing duties that Nintendo did have with this game back when it originally first came out. Remember, it was an exclusive, then it came over to PC, then it came over to Xbox, and I think it's still not on PlayStation, but they might be prepping and getting ready for it to go on there. Now, Nintendo did have publishing, so it seems like there was some publishing changes right they had to probably take it down do some different legal things get it back up so that's what i'm guessing happened with this and i think it was all planned there was obviously contracts and things signed in terms of how long and what was happening with it and i think all of that has ran out so it had to go down briefly and then it came back up while all of the legal stuff was figured out and that's really good because octopath traveler 1 and octopath traveler 2 are phenomenal games so if you're seeing how people are loving octopath traveler 2 and you didn't play the first game clearly you want to be able to have that option available to download the game digitally if you can't find it physical because the physical copies are somewhat rare and even getting rare to find in all places some stores just don't have it it's completely out of stock so having an available digital version for people to be able to purchase is is very important here and that's the balance that i always talk about when it comes to physical and digital you need both you need physical because yes it's good to have that so if it does go off you can still have an option to play it, whether it's used or whether you do find a copy in stores but then you also need a digital as well because if they don't print a lot of them people can still have a way to play the game so it's the balance guys and that's what i'm about when it comes down to it not just all one or the other but have a balance have both of them have options for consumers i wish they would have kind of let us know a little bit beforehand that would have been nice but hey it is what it is they probably couldn't because of the legal situation surrounding this game with the publishing duties and all of that but it's all back everything's good at this point octopath traveler is a phenomenal game makes great use of the hd rumble on the nintendo switch so it's still my favorite version to play when it comes to the original octopath traveler love the game plays great portable looks good as well sounds great the music Music is really good controls are fantastic characters are great the story is awesome a little bit of issues when it comes to the intertwining of the stories because they don't do that very well but the stories individually are very fun to go through and the game is great it's a very good battle system love breaking enemies it's a little bit of a light version of the bravely default battle system so if you're not necessarily into bravely default and all the depth that it has this one might be a little bit better for you because it does tone things down a bit and it has a very unique cool hd 2d art style so yeah phenomenal game so i'm glad that it's back ready to go for people to be able to pick up if they want to get it 
on the Nintendo Switch eShop. So that's going to wrap it up for this video here, guys. What did you think about the Nintendo Switch and RPG news? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are someone new. Click that notification bell. Check out my other Nintendo Switch and RPG videos right here on screen. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.